Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Taurus. As you'll see, I have this huge feather. This is, yes, an actual eagle feather that was given to me. So because of that, oh, I'll show you these. There is a big one. <laughs> too big to use. This one's pretty big too. So I chose the smallest one. The reason why I decided to use that feather was is this native spirit oracle that I have. There is an eagle on it. So I thought it was fitting to use that today. All right, Taurus. Let's see what's happening. What does the native spirit oracle need to tell Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Clear messages, please, for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? It's a card that wants to come out. Eagle Medicine. Oh, look at that. Yes, very healing energy, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Taurus. There we go. Another one wants to come out. Warrior of the Heart. Beautiful. One more. I feel like I need... There we go. Taurus. Walking in Beauty. Wow. Some of you need to, to heal your heart. I feel that you need to get out and enjoy the beauty of nature. All right, clear your head, look onto the horizon to see the future, to clear your head, to clear your heart. I feel there's definitely a healing. Somebody may be wanting to come towards you. This person may think you're beautiful. And uh, you may go for a walk with this person. They maybe actually tell you that. So I feel for some of you, though, this could be, you could have a healing relationship coming towards you, but there could be somebody coming towards you. I see this, someone needing to uh, be free to heal a situation. It has something to do with the heart, the emotions, feelings. All right, Taurus. I haven't bonded with these cards 100%. I'm learning them. I'm just going to go with the flow. And, uh, yeah, I'll take some time here and there to uh, read the energy in the book. But I'm just trusting my intuition right now. Taurus. Does Taurus need to know the overall energy? Oh, happy, happy. Yeah, so there's somebody here who wants to come towards you. They want to heal a situation. For some of you, this could be a family situation. Somebody's thinking about you, looking for clarity. Yeah. Someone's looking for answers. They're looking for clarity at how to heal a situation with you. They want to come towards you. This person's starting to be, they're thinking here, how to make you happy or that you actually make them happy. Could be an ex energy or just somebody who you've met that uh, is thinking about a family, thinking about commitment. Beautiful. Taurus. Ah, indecision, yeah. So someone's very much up in their head thinking. There's a little indecisive energy. This could be you, not so sure, okay? But this is sometimes someone who's up in their head and needs to just get out of their head because they're overthinking a situation to do with commitment, relationship, having a family, expressing themselves. Beautiful. I feel like you. some of you definitely could be taking a walk with this person. Okay, to clear things up, to talk. I do feel this is a situation that could be healed. Some of you have a very strong heart, a very strong love and connection with this person. Or it will form <laughs> if it's new. It could be somebody here who's thinking here, trying to get some clarity. Uh, they're up in their head about commitment. So it could be that simple. Sometimes the readings are a lot simpler than they seem. Taurus. Does Taurus need to know overall energy in their love life? Clear messages and guidance for Taurus. Clear messages and guidance for Taurus. Sorry about that. I had to pause. I had the kettle on. I forgot. Good thing it has a whistle on it. All right, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Taurus. There we go. Yeah, so somebody is trying to figure something out to do with their heart, their feelings, their emotions, to do with commitment. This could be you, okay? Trying to decide if you love somebody, how you feel about them, if you want to commit, or if they can make you happy, or vice versa. Take it as it resonates. Seven of Swords, energy is interesting, yeah. So somebody is thinking about whether or not... They would be happy with you, vice versa. They're trying to figure out their feelings or they're trying to figure out how to fix a situation if it is an ex energy or maybe not even an ex, somebody you may have 
um, got to know and things didn't really go anywhere because somebody started to overthink. <laughs> That's what I, I always feel when I see these two together. Yeah, someone's up in their head. They can't see a way forward. They can't make up their mind. They just need a little more time. So I feel this person is trying to figure out their feelings, their emotions. If they can make you happy, uh, if commitment, marriage would make them happy. I feel they're, you're, you may be waiting patiently for this person. Be strong, okay? I do feel like this person does have feelings for you, most definitely. Uh, I feel that they have, they do want to invest. They're not sure how far right with this indecision so it's telling you to be patient and wait to see some of you are hoping your patience pay off here but i feel this person is thinking about investing yeah they're becoming clear they are going to find that clarity look at that they will this person finds you very beautiful and that's one thing I can tell you is a guarantee. They find you attractive. There is this beauty. Uh, and you they may feel like you have a very beautiful heart, okay? And they like that. They're thinking a lot about you. And I do feel like they know you could make them happy. But I think their worry is, is whether they can make you happy. There's something that they're trying to figure out to fix. Maybe they need to express themselves towards you. If it's somebody you've met and things, you know, they kind of pulled back because they got up in their head. But that clarity is here. You have something new starting here, new love. Somebody is gaining that strength and confidence. They're coming towards you. I see a Leo energy. This person may have Leo in their chart or they're just they're just in that energy. They're ready for something new. They're ready to come towards you. There's a strong connection here. I feel this more this person thinks, which is something I don't see often. The more they think and the more they try to figure things out, they know there's a strong connection. They have this pull. You, I feel like you've captured this person's heart, Taurus. I see a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here for sure. And of course, Leo, which we always see with the sun and the strength card. So really doesn't have to be a Leo. So yeah, this person knows they want to offer you love. They want to tell you how they feel. They may take you for a walk. You may take a walk with this person where they're going to communicate this emotion, this feeling. They want to start something with you. Look at that. Yeah, they will, somebody here is thinking about starting a family, having children. Um, I feel as though they're just somebody who thinks too much. This is somebody who really does like to sit and figure things out. I feel for work, this person is, uh, they're very good at starting things. They're very good at, um, I feel like they're good with numbers, math, things like that. Uh, they may be into writing. They like to write things down uh, to clear their head to find that clarity. So very interesting. This could be a message for you too, okay? Um, to write some things down to get clarity if you feel this energy flips. Sometimes it helps to put things down on paper and then read it back to yourself even a few days later. So happy family. Why is this here for Taurus? Too many cards. There we go. Yeah. So someone feels like there's not a lot of hope. Yeah. Someone's lonely, hiding their feelings, emotions, not really sure if they, you know, because I feel they're not sure if they can make you happy or if commitment will make them happy. They're up in their head. I feel this is this person actually has some very deep feelings for you. I do. They're hiding their feelings. Uh, they have some kind of fear. This person doesn't want to be alone. This is somebody who maybe they are a little insecure about whether they can, you know, make you happy. Uh, they, they have something they're trying to fix here to do with their emotions, to do with their feelings. They're very much invested too much in their head. So I do feel you'll have to be patient with this person. They need to do things their way, okay? So I see cats or Pisces for some of you. Thinking man. Who is this thinking man? Could be a woman, but generally with this deck, there is a man and a woman. So but take it as it resonates for you, okay? Yeah, this person's looking for clarity, looking for answers. They're holding on to something. They're looking at all the details. Like I said, they may actually be writing things down and their thoughts, their feelings, right, to sort this out. Because I can guarantee you, this is somebody, one thing I'll tell you the truth, they don't want to let go of you. They're holding on very tight. And the more they look at it, the more stuck they get. They don't want to let you go, but they're still unsure. 
So we have this indecision. Yeah, so I feel as though this person does. They are, this is what they're doing. And this is, they get up in their head. They're using all the power they have to control their feelings and emotions. They're trying to be logical. They're trying to be sensible. They don't want to just rush into something. They do know there's a strong connection. I can see it right here. Uh, they know there's some things they have figured out that they do want this new beginning. They feel the need to express themselves. And I feel like what they're afraid of, that they're thinking about here, and why they're stuck is they're afraid things will get out of control or they'll lose control. This is a person who likes to be in control. They don't want to... They don't want to lose control of this. They don't want to be like a big emotional mess, okay? And because I do think that what this person's done is they've got themselves into a bit of a state where they're very stuck, okay? And they don't want to come in all gushy and, you know, it, it's it may not be their MO. This might be somebody who just feels very insecure about sharing their deepest feelings. And I feel they're doing some kind of shadow work here as well, uh, something to do with their own emotions period okay whether it has to do with you it's just a them it's their base energy somebody who definitely likes to keep their emotions in check so there's a they are afraid things will get out of control they don't want you to get away though they they're holding on to this tell me about the seven of swords tell me about the seven of swords seven of swords energy why is this here Seven of Swords. There we go. Ah, yes. This person's in their head. Wow. Overthinking a lot. They can't get out of their head. They can't stop thinking about you. They really, really don't want to let go of you. Something has happened. They might have done something a little sneaky, kept some secrets. And maybe they've got themselves trapped in, a, in something or they're afraid of losing control and getting trapped in a situation where they're not happy as well. So this is why they're overthinking. They're being, trying to be logical. This is someone who uses their head over their heart to the extreme. Ten of Cups for Taurus. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, uh, this part. Yeah, see, they know. This person knows. They need to take that leap of faith. They need to invest. And I think they're about to take a risk here. I do. They want to get out of their head. They're looking at all this energy. Maybe this person got trapped in a relationship in the past. They had a hard time getting out of, you know, because they're looking over their shoulder, looking at the past. But I feel as though unless this person offers you love, Taurus, and they take this leap of faith, you won't invest in them. Uh, you need somebody who shares their feelings. This person's also afraid that you will take off in another direction. They can't stop thinking of the fact that you may start something new with somebody else who can express themselves because I see this beginning. They do need to take that leap. But I feel this person is kind of calculating that risk, what will happen if they invest in this. <laughs> yes, yeah, they're definitely, they have to release something here. They know they need to let go of this fear. They need to let go and just purge and release old relationship baggage. Uh, they do hold you in high regard. They do. They, this person definitely sees you as the star. And they know as they invest in this and their thoughts, their feelings. And they, because they can't stop thinking of you, like they really know that they're stuck, that they can't let go. They see the truth in that. Okay. And they know that if they speak the truth to you, it'll set them free. And then they will have the power to come in and take control of this situation. But they're afraid to lose control. That's their thing. And I feel as though they do see you as a star. And they're afraid that you will reach them or release them and move on to someone else. They know that you're very strong, that you're very confident. They see you that way, Taurus. Some of you may have Aries, Pisces, Aquarius in your chart, maybe Cancer. See some strong Cancer energy. So, wow, yeah, and I feel as though this person definitely sees you as someone who's just right. Uh, you're everything that they could wish for, like they know that, and they've invested a lot of time thinking about this. They want to come towards you. This is a very healing energy. They know this situation that you may not invest. You will not invest in them unless they take a leap and share their feelings. And they know they have to do this in the right way. But it feels, you know, they have this energy where it feels like there's no hope. So, yeah, they know they need to come in and offer you something solid. 
And I feel like you're hoping that this person will purge and release whatever it is they need to let go of, these fears that they have, this emotional baggage, and come towards you and offer you something, offer you some kind of a commitment. They're thinking about it. They really, really are because they know that you're very strong, very brave. They know you have this beautiful heart and they, they know this connection is very deep and very strong. They're trying to gain the strength and the confidence Tell me about the sun. Yeah, see, they know. They want this. They do want it, but something is holding them back. They're trapped in the past, feeling something. This is shadow work. This person needs to do their shadow work. Uh, their feelings are deep, and they're starting to see that. They're having these aha moments. They know they can't let go, no matter what they do. They're trying really hard to let go and to move away from you, but they can't strength why is this here the strength card there we go yeah so i feel like this person's worried yeah that you will end things this person this is what they need to do yeah maybe some of you they need to uh, uh end another relationship to start something with you or this person is trapped in their um traditions beliefs their behaviors the way they conduct themselves they're, they're stuck in their habits and they need to put an end to it. They need to find the strength to put an end to something here to do with this tradition. Some of you are definitely uh, wanting this person. I can see it. You're ready. You want this new beginning. You're waiting for it. Like, But it's starting to feel like it's out of reach. They know this. They know that they... You know, they're running out of time and they know that they they have to invest. Tell me about this. And I, some of you are ending a relationship with somebody else as well, using the strength you have. But I feel it's them. And I feel they're trying to gain the strength to put an end to the, their old way of thinking, their patterns, their habits, uh, things that they're holding on to that they need to let go of from past relationships, possibly a past marriage. They've never healed or released something. Uh, and it could be you as well, Taurus. So we have Chalice. Ace of Cups, Chalices, yeah, this person definitely is making a decision. This is a big decision. This person finds you so beautiful, though, like they know it. They know if they don't hurry up and come in and invest and do this, they will lose that opportunity that you will go off and have a new beginning with someone else because they know what you want. You want commitment. You want marriage. You want to know that this person is there for you. And I do feel they, they, they do get that you could balance them out, that you're the right person for them. They see themselves possibly married to you, committed. But they what they need to express, what need they need to become clear about is their traditions or beliefs. Uh, they have their own way of doing things. They're trying to gain that strength to go through this transition. So it may take some time for this person to come. You may need to just give them a little bit of time uh, to uh, transition towards expressing their love, their emotions, and offering you this cup of love. Big decision for this person. I see a Libra energy. Some of you, they have Libra in their chart. Pretty strong Libra energy here. Tell me about judgment. What will this decision be? Ah, there you go. So there you are, Taurus. This is a, maybe a decision for you. You're looking at this. You're waiting for this person. It could be a reconciliation. This could be you making the decision whether to accept this. But there's a little bit of a wake-up call here uh, with this decision. You're very traditional, Taurus. There's something that you may need to let go of. Some of you may have a situation, relationship baggage, something that happened maybe with this person. Uh, for some of you, maybe this is your marriage partner and you've had some issues here where there's been some fears. Maybe some of you are feeling you're in a relationship but you're feeling lonely because your partner doesn't express their feelings. Okay, there's something that you may be feeling they're hiding. Okay, and you're looking at this energy and you feel like you need to make the decision to take off in another direction to just sort of get out of Dodge for a while, but I don't think you can. This is your person, but for most of you, I feel this you want this new beginning, and if this person doesn't come in and offer you what you want, if you don't get 
your hopes and dreams, your wishes fulfilled, you will be brave and strong and move away and put an end to this uh, to connect with someone else. You want something traditional. You want someone you can rely on. You want a strong partner, too, that has strong convictions like yourself about commitment, about marriage. Okay. Beautiful energy. You're being very practical. I feel like you're grounding yourself and you're just waiting here, looking at all the details, waiting for this person to come and share their feelings. I think you know they're probably going to by the looks of it. It just give them a little bit of time. They're going through something. Uh, they're going through this transition to do with how they see things due to their past, something they have to let go of. You, know, you both may have things down the middle that you need to get clear. I see Aquarius and Libra energy. You may have those elements in your charts or Cancer Pisces uh, moons. Okay, that kind of energy where you're both kind of in that similar energy. You both may have something you need to let go of, but you're not letting go of each other. There's a truth that needs to be spoken, and I feel this person, maybe yourself, are having an aha moment. Maybe you guys are being stubborn, okay, holding back. Your feelings, your emotions, refusing to share them because of something you're holding on to. Tell me about the Eagle Medicine. Why is this here? Eagle Medicine. Yes. This is about being set free. Someone needs to use the power they have to set themselves free from what's holding them back from sharing their feelings. Uh, for those of you where it's not a marriage or a commitment issue. Yeah, see this person's looking. They're thinking. They're trying to make a choice here. They do see you as the one. They're trying to figure out how to approach you. Yeah, they do want to come towards you. There is movement. Feel they're up in their head. This is somebody who, yeah, they have a tendency to act like they're um, detached. You know, that they don't have a lot of feelings for you. They act like they're not interested, but they are. And it's because they fight to control their feelings because they're afraid of losing uh, control of the situation but they will come towards you they're about to make a decision how to approach you how to keep things moving forward they don't want you to move away in fact they're coming back around here so it could be someone that you've met that you felt there was no hope it would ever um, they would ever express their feelings or emotions because they were either being stuck or stubborn or just holding back. And I feel like you have been refusing to move forward with this person because of it. So, and I do feel like you're looking back at this. Both of you are looking back at your feelings, emotions. When things started between you, that first initial connection, you're looking back. If this person does not share their feelings, You'll walk away and they're looking back and they know if they don't share their feelings that you will go off and have something with somebody else. You'll start a new beginning. You're ready. They're thinking about this risk because they don't want you to get away. They feel that, you know, you're their person. They see you as the stars, that perfect person. They see you as the one. Warrior of the heart. Why is this here? Why is the warrior of the heart here for Taurus? Warrior of the heart. There we go. Yeah, so look at that. There you are. Your person may have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart as well. I feel as though they're just sort of sitting here. This person... I'm, I, I got a feeling this person doesn't have a lot of faith in relationships, in commitments, in marriage. Maybe they don't have a lot of faith in themselves and that they feel this will just end. Maybe you don't have faith that this person can put whatever it is they're holding on to in the past and move forward towards you. So it could go a lot of different ways. You know how you feel, your story. So some of you are single and I feel like you have everything that you need but you don't have love and that's what they're looking at as well. So it's either you... You're going to either, some of you are going to let go of this person, this hope and dream of being married, that they won't offer you something or you'll ever get engaged and you're staying single and you're just holding out here um, because you do have everything you need but love but you, and you want this. So you may just sort of sit there and uh, wait for this person to come in and invest. You've been investing in yourself, looking after yourself. You're looking really good. This person sees you that way as someone who takes care of themselves. They see you as very beautiful. In fact, something popped into my head, like even first thing in the morning, this person thinks you're beautiful. They just 
do. Uh, and, you know, you're very calm, you're very grounded, you're very practical, and they see you as, as someone they could marry. This is this wake-up call. They know they have to offer you their love, their feelings. They have to start something. And you're, you are invested in this. You're not in a big rush to rush away, but you won't wait forever. So I feel that this person is, uh, they are single. They know that they will need to release that energy where they don't have any faith in themselves that they can change okay to put an end to their single life they know that this will be it but i feel like you're looking at this going i don't know if this person can change if they can have the strength right uh, the confidence i'm not so sure you're confident that they can go through this transition and commit so you're both got thinking similar but uh, opposite, opposite ends of the spectrum they don't have faith in themselves and uh, you don't have faith that they'll have the strength to go through this transition from being single because I do feel they are single uh, I feel like you're single as well but neither one of you you have everything but you don't have each other and they're definitely thinking about this one thing they don't have is love they have everything and you do too and you're both kind of possibly stubborn set in your ways there's things that you may need to let go of if you're going to come together there's a lot of thinking about all these things walking beauty yeah so this is getting on that same page right you don't have any you're worried that this person will you know you'll never get on the same page maybe they have to they have to maybe end another relationship they're afraid to uh, i don't feel that energy too much but it's possible for some of you they have a fear. I feel as though this person's starting to think like they may have a fear of actually uh, being alone. It's very deep rooted, but yet they are alone for whatever reason. They may be trying to hold on to their money. Maybe this person's worked very hard for what they have and they're afraid to uh, lose everything that they worked for because I do see that here. Tell me about this tradition. Here we go. Yeah, so this person definitely wants to talk to you, uh, express themselves about their feelings, their emotions, their traditions, their habits. Um, I do feel they are set in their ways. They are definitely set in their ways. Tell me about this Prince of Cups. There we go. Yeah, so this person, yeah, see, they're, they're thinking a lot they are starting to transform they're starting to get in their feelers here but they're still thinking logically more head than heart okay that's what they need to transform if they want to come towards you and they have to commit they have to have the solid foundation you you you're looking at this and you're not moving you won't make a decision for a while i feel like you're okay you're just kind of doing your thing concentrating on money career home I don't think you're rushing into uh, running away, but you will not sit forever. But this person's definitely more head over heart. They are slowly transitioning, changing their beliefs, their feelings. They're becoming very clear. They d One thing they do not want to let go, yeah, they have some things they need to figure out. They're figuring out their feelings, their emotions. They know they need to fix this situation. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. There we go. Yeah, see, they feel like there's no hope to fix this situation. They're feeling a little bit at loss. I feel they... This person doesn't like to look at their own feelings. So that's that shadow work that they're doing. They are afraid to look at their feelings, something that they're holding on to, that they need to let go of. They may have been trapped in another relationship that they couldn't fix. I feel... Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah, so they need to come out of this energy. They need to put an end to this overthinking. So they do get that. They understand they are overthinking things. Uh, they want things to go in their favor. And they know if they want things to go in their favor, they have to express themselves or you will 
go off and have a new beginning. That's what they don't want. But yet here they are feeling hopeless. Or maybe it's you, Taurus, feeling like there's no hope to fix this situation. Uh, maybe it's taking a long time. Your patience may be running out. You're right here still. I feel a lot of you still aren't going anywhere. But there is, you are working through the process of making a decision to start something new elsewhere if they do not come in. This is your person. They see you as their person. They may regret. Maybe this person was a little sneaky. Something they were hiding. They were trying to stay in control. And they may have been hiding something that they're holding on to. I feel they're looking at all the details here. I feel it's you too, Taurus. Like there's something you're looking at. You're holding back. You're not going to, you're trying to stay in control of your emotions, your feelings. You're being practical. You're looking at something. You, I think you do get this person. Like you do understand and see that they're stuck. You do understand that they have some kind of issues, some kind of blockage to do with their emotions and their feelings or how they express them. Wow. Tell me about the Five of Cups. They may be regretting something here, not being able to fix this situation, or they feel like there's no hope. Yeah, but you're still waiting patiently uh, for this person. Um, they know that what they need to do, they need to invest. They need to, I feel like you just need to be patient and give this person time. Um, if you are still talking, uh, communicating, Maybe you can tell them that you'll be patient for a little longer, but they need to sort out what they want. They need to figure out what they want, okay? Yeah, they need to figure out what they want. There's something they need to fix to do with their childhood, the way they were brought up, their traditions, their beliefs, their religion, something that's become a habit too that they have. Maybe this person has a habit of being a little sneaky or... Uh, you know, sometimes it's ego to the Seven of Swords, uh, where somebody just wants to win. They want everything their way uh, because they're stubborn, set in their ways. They are thinking about it. Uh, they're vesting a lot of time up in their head, sorting it out. But it's time for this person. They know they may be waiting for the right time to come in and talk to you. Just, you know, I do see this as a reconciliation energy with this. They need to do something sweet for you. They need to be able to say sweet things. And I feel as though you will not invest in this person until they do something right. Like, if they are a person who definitely has a hard time saying I love you or just sharing all that emotional stuff, it may not even be the I love you. It's sharing those deep, deep feelings. I, I feel as though this person really, it, it, it's like a huge, huge challenge. And I feel as if you're patient. I feel as though this person will maybe do sweet things for you to show you, hoping that you'll be patient with them. They feel like it's maybe hopeless. They're trying to figure out how to uh, come towards you. Uh, yeah, someone has some issues to do with their childhood, their upbringing, uh, their traditions, things that have become a habit. Uh, this transformation, ending this and moving towards you, going through this is not easy for this person. A little bit though, they are, they have a little, you know, they're starting to uh, wake up a little bit. So you need to just be patient, okay? That's what I feel. It's telling you to be patient a little bit longer. I do feel this person wants to get on the same page. They want to cooperate, compromise with you they see you as somebody who can build them up so maybe you need to invest in this person and help this person transition to learn to express their their fears their emotions those deep things that are inside they may have secrets from their childhood they need to release uh, before they feel they're ready to commit but i see it i see they want it they definitely want it you have a new beginning with this person if you can be patient and allow them to just do sweet things for you until they are able to express themselves fully. So this could be a bit of a wake-up call, a decision you may have to make, okay, uh, to wait for this person to really express their emotions uh, and to be clear about what they want as well. So tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I see the two of you cooperating and compromising, working together to get onto that same page through doing sweet things for each other, investing each other, being patient with each other. Ah, uh, Taurus, Three of Pentacles. 
Yes, this person's definitely uh, soul searching, going within. I feel like your intuition is telling you this is your person, that they will eventually come in and cooperate, compromise, that you will get on the same page. It's telling you to just be patient and just give this person an opportunity. So if this is your story, because I don't feel like this person's really done anything other than they tried to come in maybe and express themselves in a very small way, thinking they could kind of sneak back into your life by doing sweet things and not saying much. And you may have made the decision to sit there and um, not so sure if you see a future with them. But look at this, you're turning, you're looking at this now. So there's something here that you may need to let go of too. Maybe you've both just been really stubborn. There's some wisdom here. Use your intuition. There's a need to soul search. Trust your intuition that this person is your person, that they will get on the same page. They find you very beautiful. I feel this is a, uh, a beautiful connection. This could really turn into something. I do feel eventually you'll get what you want if you can be patient and understanding, gracious and kind. Uh, yeah, being stable, being reliable. You, you know, this person does need to make you feel safe and secure. They need to show you that they're reliable, that you can rely on them as well, because that's the Queen of Pentacles energy, Taurus. You, you want that reliability, that stability. You need to feel safe with the person you're with. And I do feel like they will try to do that. They do want something stable with you. They do see you as marriage material. They do see you as someone they can commit to. But there's just some work that needs to be done. You need to build each other up, okay, to work together for that same goal. And you need to team up. It's going to take both of you uh, to go through this transition together. So beautiful energy. Let's grab some outcome cards. Oh, my goodness. Heavy reading this week. Taurus, what is the outcome of this situation for Taurus? Yeah, some of you just need to stay strong. Uh, some of you are staying strong. You're, you, I do feel you're staying single, but you won't forever. You're just sort of looking back, reflecting on everything. And I do think you're coming to the decision. You need to just wait, that you could get what you want out of this. This could stabilize. Maybe you need to show this person you're there for them as well to go through this transition. They're dealing with something heavy, okay, to do with their upbringing, uh, something that they're stuck in, that they've been stuck in for a very long time, and they're trying to figure out how to fix it. I do think they want you. Boy, do they ever. But yeah, see, friends and colleagues. So I feel as though... Some of you may just stay friends, all right, and be friends for a while, maybe hang out together. They may introduce you to their friends, their family. You may work together. I do feel like this is that three. You need to work together. I think both of you do, and I do actually feel you could be a very good fit with this person. I feel they have earth in their chart. I feel like you both have some air. I really really feel that connection here but things need to become stable you need to know you can rely on this person to keep you safe friends and colleagues yes a milestone yeah see look at that things are moving there's going to be an event i feel like this person's going to invite you somewhere to some family gathering or to introduce you to some friends and family you may meet up somewhere and talk about this there's going to be a milestone the two of you are going to cooperate there is a milestone being reached trust your intuition some of you your intuition's telling you that this is your person that you need to build them up to okay you need to show them that you're reliable maybe they feel like you're not reliable so there's that happy success. You're about to get something that you want. So be ready to receive this. If this person comes towards you and, and suddenly expresses themselves to you by doing something really sweet to show you they're invested, they want to make sure their investment pays off as well. See this, and you too. I see you both in that energy. Uh, I do think you're both stubborn and stuck in your own traditions, your own habits. 
Uh, there's a, a level of conditioning here as well. But I feel like you need to be open to receive this. If you want this to move forward with this person and they come in and they do tell you they have feelings, they want to have this new beginning, can you be patient while I learn to express myself in that emotional way? You know, because I feel they'll do lovely things for you. They may tell you you're beautiful and things like that to show you, okay? Can you settle for that? Will that make you safe and secure? Will that make you comfortable enough to keep moving? I feel like you will do it. I do. And I think I see, I, I, I don't think, I know. I see success. I see this moving forward. I see this person breaking this cycle of being stuck in their head, something that they were lost in. Uh, this dark energy, the shadow work, having a fear, uh, feeling they weren't good enough to commit to marry because of these issues. Yeah, there is a healing light. This person is going to heal, all right? There is movement. I feel as though, oh, there's a lot of abundance coming this person's way and your way. You can help this person heal if you're patient. Uh, and if you can settle for this person doing sweet things, maybe buying you little gifts, hanging out together, and just give them an opportunity. Yeah, there you go. There's you both. This is both of you, kindred spirits. You both have something you may need to heal and let go of. Take some time to look at that. Uh, invest in that it's a little maybe a bit of a wake-up call for you as well okay where you have to make a decision some of you may be stuck and stubborn stuck in your own traditions your own beliefs and they are too about how uh, the relationship should go how um, marriage should go but i see it here i see this new commitment i see this per person wanting to commit beautiful energy this is your soulmate this is your person and i feel just let your intuition guide you it's going to tell you i think you already know everything you need to know this is a beautiful connection take a walk talk together get on the same path the same page you're you have some very similar qualities <laughs> the two of you so beautiful take care of yourselves taurus i wish you the best in this transition okay and we'll see you soon.